This is poor Beagle. This case is a sandwich mount 75% layout inspired by Brooke, who made the KLE. This board retains all the functionality of your Numro and your Efro for games that require those binds. However, it eschews that pesky functionality, saving you an entire two columns while maximizing all that good row goodness. Of course, it's win keyless because who needs those keys anyway, especially if you're a gamer, and it offers a variety of split space as well as big bar layouts. It supports base kit mods as well as split enter, so you can use base kits to your heart's delight or uh, use those nice 40s mods if you prefer. It also features a design on the back by Brooke. The namesake of the board, the poor beagle shark, a chunky boy. This chunky boy obviously pairs very well with the uh, very square layout that we have here. Here's a build guide. All right, welcome to the build section of the video. Here we have a fully assembled poor beagle. First, we're gonna be taking a better look at the back side. There's a good look. The weight for you. It's kind of dirty because I've been touching it. But it is, in fact, mirror stainless. So we're going to turn that back over. And here's the back side. There's those exposed screws. A little poor beagle finish. And our centered USB port. All right. Let's get to disassembling this. Take your uh, disassembly instrument and insert it into one of the four screw holes. And uh, yeah, you unscrew it. These screws are extra thick and different lengths because they have to go all the way through the case into the top plate. But they rest at different widths. That screw is unscrewed and we're just going to pop the case out here. There we go. Come on, buddy. Gotta give it a little more juice. Yep. So this one, because it's full stainless steel, I put some PE foam in it, but that won't be necessary for the group by version. Just disconnect that there, and then we get a look at the internals of the base. Got that tasteful internal logo. A little baffling to make the bottom part here thicker. Then a classic unified C3 daughter board. And then you can get a look at how the mounting works here. So these tabs are of different thicknesses, which is why the screws have to be different thicknesses. And this is where the exposed part of the top housing sits. So that's why you need this longer back edge here. And then on top of that sits our plate assembly. As you can see, as you can see, the plate is five millimeters thick. Some real chonker stainless steel there. And it rests these large top slots. So basically everything just fits into these slots. There's four slots. And then it all sandwiches together and it gets screwed together. So let's put it back together. Do a little sound test.
align our foam, reinsert the JST. Lay it back down. Make sure it's all centered. Pop it on. Flip it over and screw it together. There's only four screws, and there's four Eternus feet on the back as well. And that's basically it. There we go. That's an assembled poor beagle. All right. Now for the sound test portion of this video. Thank you for considering Poor Beagle. Poor Beagle will be running at the end of the month on aternus.com.